Let's review, in general, regenerative dryer principles. The way most regenerative dryers work is you have some type of a twin tower, and as you flow air into the dryer, it flows through one tower, and as it goes through the tower, again, that tower is full of that molecular sieve or different type of media, depending on the manufacturer, and as it flows through that tower, that moisture, humidity, is being attracted to the beads that's in that tower, the desiccant. As it flows through the dryer, it'll flow out and go downstream, giving you a clean, clean supply of uh, dry air. Now, approximately every two minutes or on some, some type of a cycle, we're going to take this tower here now that's become wet and saturated, and we're going to switch that to a new dry tower. So the dryers out there, they'll switch sides. When we switch side, this wet tower right here is going to depressurize, and it's going to vent that pressure out the bottom. Now we're going to flow through this new tower, which was already dried out. So you get a continual flow without any interruption of, of clean, dry air going downstream. What happens on regenerative dryers is you have some type of an orifice or a regeneration valve. So as you're flowing through this new dry tower, some of this clean, dry air is backfed through the wet tower and percolates up through the beads and will help carry that moisture away and dry it. And that percolation air or purge air will come out these mufflers at the bottom. So in essence, if you put it in simple terms, it's like changing your desiccant pot here about every four minutes. You're changing your beads.